This is one of my favourite dolls in the whole of my collection and I've had her for quite a few years now. And if you haven't met her yet, I would love her to be as much a part of you as she is for me. It's just something that I would love to share with anyone who has a huge appreciation for dolls in general as well as haunted dolls. So I would love to introduce you to Alice. And Alice is a very special spirit and this is a spirit that I've actually seen walk out of my bedroom one night. Going back about five years ago, I was sitting up studying one night and I'd just finished, started gathering up my things, stood up, got out of my chair, looked up and just for a few seconds I saw this young child just slowly walk out of my bedroom into the hallway and it was as clear as anything and this child was dressed in what appeared to be late Victorian style clothing the typical sort of cream well the spirit was actually glowing white so it's hard to say what color really but it just looked like the typical Victorian style the crochet fabric So if you just gaze into the eyes and just focus on the face, look into the eyes, and tell me what you think, what you feel. Feel free to comment. One night before I went to bed many years ago, I was told by a lady in America to hold the doll and let the spirit attached to the doll get to know me a little bit better because she actually didn't know. But when I received this doll as a present, she was put into my doll room. If you don't know already, I'm a doll collector. I collect all sorts of dolls, all different ones from Barbie to anything really I just love dolls in general but this lady told me to hold her because the spirit was afraid of me because I hadn't given her the opportunity to get to know me so I did this and sure enough at about between the hours of 1 to 2 a.m. I woke up to this tiny little tapping sensation on my lower legs and feet and this went on for quite some time and I just lay there frozen just experiencing this feeling and then it stopped and then I would say approximately after about a few minutes it started up again and this went on for quite some time and a lot of people including people that I personally don't know too well, have actually experienced what feels like tugging of their clothes, pulling of their hair, and tapping on their lower legs, similar to what I experienced. And I'm often told this uh, by people who don't actually know what I've experienced. And not only that, uh, on many many occasions and not just me but child voices have been heard inside my house very very young voice and I'm talking a spirit between the age of one to two is what I saw and I do believe that spirit is attached to this doll because it was not long after I received this doll that I actually saw the spirit walking out of my bedroom and it's just such a a young, young soul.
So I'm burning a candle at the moment for spirit communication. And if anyone else out there picks up anything with this doll, feel free to let me know, feel free to comment. Because I want to share this with whoever wants to experience it with me. So I have her in my bedroom at the moment and that is where, of course, I wake up feeling the tapping and also where she walked out of as well so what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to turn the light out and I'm going to put a k2 meter on her and we'll see what happens but bear in mind this is a very very young spirit so it's a child that if we we got an ovulus out which is a device that spirit can talk through it's like a dictionary they can communicate through this is um it's a child who would not be able to write read or write yet so we'll do the most simplest we can i've got the k2 meter over here and i'm going to turn the light out And we'll see if we get any movement on the EMF reader. Alice, are you here? Alice, do you want to touch the doll? If you touch the doll, it can make a pretty light move. Would you like to make the light move? Are you here? Can you hear me? I saw a light move. Can you touch the doll again? Are you there? Can you hold the doll? Give her a big hug. Are you there still? Do you want to come and talk to this device that I'm holding? We can make some noises and we can all hear you. We can all hear you talk. You sing. Do you want to come and play? Would you like to play, Alice? Are you cuddling the doll? So I've noticed it's getting a little bit more frequent.
Alice, are you still there? Do you like this room, Alice? Is this where you like to be? You prefer to be in here and get attention? Oh yeah, getting a lot higher now. You like being in here. Maybe I need to leave you in here a little bit more often, hey? Leave your doll. Would that be special? Do you like that? With this doll as well, basically whenever you look at her, if you gaze into the eyes, there's just something so powerful about this doll and I have a lot of dolls and I don't feel that I mean there's there's other very very special ones that I absolutely love but there's something extremely special about this one it's just so lifelike it's like the doll actually has a soul inside of it all the time it's like it's permanently there the eyes are so lifelike and I don't think it's that I think it's just a very, very strong soul. Even though she's so young. So would you like to stay in this room more often? have to make that happen huh but if you would like to know anything more about this doll or perhaps you've got any questions about her or would like to share anything with me maybe you can tell me something about her that you're picking up on feel free to let me know and I would love to hear from you And thank you for talking, Alice. Thank you for coming out to play. Maybe you'd like to come out tonight and you can come wake me up in the morning again. I think she likes the hallway as well because often the child voices are quite often heard down the hallway. So I think she likes hallways. She also likes my bedroom. <laughs> find the more attention I give this doll, I give her, the stronger uh, she comes through. And equipment's very, very good for um, sort of a bit of confirmation with what you're feeling, what, you, what you're picking up. really does help anyway thank you for talking tonight Alice and we'll see you again soon okay and just before I go I did want to show you this very special photograph that I've had for years now 
and this was actually captured at the old Hyacomb Hotel in Tea Tree Gully and it was at the bottom of the stairs and you can see someone's walking up the stairs in this photo. So it's standing at the bottom of the stairs and this particular night I brought Alice with me as I always have and generally the youngest person of the group often is the one that has the experience but many other people do also and someone captured this amazing photo and I actually sent this off to a paranormal photography expert in India at the time and he had a look at it for me and he truly believed that this was a legit photograph of a spirit capture and you can clearly see it's it's young like if you know it's sort of the size of a young child I suppose it's very small so I just wanted to share that with you as well so what do you think what's your opinion on this Feel free to let me know. And we'll see you again soon.